the tramping of feet. I love every beat I hear of a drum. Yes, I love a Come poke. on, Phil. The parade's about to start. You've been in there for over an hour. And well worth the time, don't you think, Mikey? There's not enough time in this millennium. Hey! Ay, ay, ay! Is he still in there? Every time Phil gets in front of that mirror, we end up late. You got that right, Dr. C. Darn mammoth lick. It. Tomorrow, I'm having that mirror removed. My dear Dr. C, you mustn't. Mirrors are such fascinating devices. Almost as fascinating as the creatures they reflect. Why, I remember one time in Woollyville, long, long ago... Phil fell into a glacier. It was like a big deep freeze. But he was brought back to life to his surprise in the 20th century. So listen as Phil takes us back to wonders of long ago. And weaves a tale of fully Phil and an ice age boy named Cole. Hi, Crow. Are Og and Gog still arguing over who has the stinkiest feet? Nope. Now they're arguing over who's the hairiest. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to being hairy, we mammoths have you humans beat by a mile. Maybe, but you can't beat me by a mile. Come on, I'll race you to the foot of the volcano. Loser picks prickly pears for the winner! Poor Crow. When will he learn that my mental powers can beat his physical powers every time? Poor Paca. That stubby little body of hers just isn't built for speed the way mine is. You were saying? Packa, how did you... By avoiding those strenuous hills, I saved both time and effort. So, uh, where are my prickly pears? Fine. I'll find you some prickly pears. The prickliest. Hope you bite a needle. Ouch! Hey, you. Go away. I saw the pear first. He cut it out. Stop imitating me. Uh, Crow, I think that is you. Oh, yeah? Well, if that's me, then who am I? No, silly. It's not you, you. It's your reflection, you. No way, Paca. I'm waving my right hand, and he's waving his left hand. Well, that's what happens in a reflection. Things get kind of flipped. Oh, I get it. Like when I see myself in water, only better. Wow, a genuine see myself -er. Neat! Quick, Crow, come here. Look at me in this rock. Wow, you look really weird. <laughs> what about you? This rock is all curvy, like it was pushed in in the middle. Mine kind of sticks out in the middle. This first rock is really flat. Hmm, so I guess the flatter and more polished the surface, the, the better the see myself -er. Come on, I gotta show this see myself or to the others. No, no, no! No way, no how, no gonna happen! Nandy, sorry, but ancient tribal paintings state very clearly tribe member who claim more hair than tribe leader won't be leader himself. But Gog not want be leader, just want be hairier. Hey, everybody, look what Pac and I found. Nandy, sorry again, Gog, but it say that once Harry challenge made, no can back out. Nandy, you gotta no, see... Now, Crow, paintings say big contest must happen to decide on leader of tribe. Og, you gotta look at this. Go away! Og must fight to stay leader! Gog. 
try to sneak up on me, eh? Og, no! You broke my see my sulfur. No, Og broke Gog. Poor Gog. He was good, Neanderthal. Strong, brave, stinky, hairy. They don't make them like that anymore. Uh, Gog was the best. <laughs> yes, he was, Gog. Yes, he was, Gog. Wait, if you Gog, then who this? <laughs> That's me. I broke me. No, Og, it's just a piece of the sea myself I was trying to tell you about. I look at the rock, and I see me. You look at it, and you see you. Og oh, hates see myself. It make Og look like Big Weenie. That not hard to do. Wait! No fair fighting till we have fair fight. Tomorrow, when sun rises, big contest begins. Oh, God! Big contest today! Winner to be new tribe leader! Fun for whole family! Good seats available. First event, porcupine juggling. <gasps> Gog, go first. I do so love a good contest, don't you, Mojo? Yes, indeed, Earl. Even such a primitive one as this. I think great. But remember, kids, we are trained professionals. Don't try this at home. You know, Mojo, there's really no contest here. This big hairy one they call Gog has it in the bag. Oh, I rather think the ugly little Og thing shall remain victorious. Care to, to make, make a, a friendly, friendly little, little wager, dear brother? <laughs> big ouchie! But Gog think it worth it for big finish. Ha! Beat that, Pika. That's nothing compared to the stupid tricks the odd thing can do with porcupines. Just look. Believe me, Crow, the mammoths will appreciate these see myself for things much more than any old Neanderthal ever could. I hope someone will. <laughs> oh, blind! Oh, blind! Well, I'm never. Uh-oh. Way to go, Crow. what I do? You prehistoric fool! what I do? It crows for Og, Miss Porcupines. Og want Crow to go away until contest over. what did I do? What did you do, Crow? Everyone seems quite upset with you. Beats me, Phil. Somehow it was my fault Og didn't catch his porcupines. Something to do with my see myself -er, I guess. <gasps> Exquisite! The rock? Huh? Oh, well, yes, that too. I've never seen anything like it. <gasps> we made it smoother and flatter by grinding and polishing it down. Well, there's your answer, Crow. Sunlight must have reflected off your shiny see myself -er right into Og's eyes. Huh? Here, we have Og. And here, the sun. Light from the sun, or any light, travels in a straight line and will go on in that direction forever. Unless something gets in its way, like your see myself -er. Then, it bounces off the something and heads in a new direction. In this case, right into Og's eyes. I still don't get it. I'll use this ball to show how the see myself -er works. Go ahead, Crow. Throw it at Packer's see myself -er. Ready or not, here it comes. Oopsie. <laughs> I uh, forgot to tell you. <laughs> Light bounces off things at the same angle it hits. If it hits straight on, it bounces straight back. No kidding. But if it hits at another angle, it bounces off at an equal angle. Very interesting but a little on the painful side. It's Bob rolling time! Each contestant roll Bob downhill. Fastest roller wins. Bob loved this event. Hey, hey, hey! What Crow doing here? Don't watch him near me! He bad luck for Og. Oh, all I want to do is watch. 
perhaps there's a way you can watch Crow at a safe distance from behind that big boulder. Behind it? Come on, you loudish lump of paleolithic fat lump. Roll that bob. This is brilliant, Phil. Log's reflection is bouncing right back here to us from the other side of this rock. That's right, Crow. Gee, I wonder if our reflection is bouncing out to Og. Sure it is. Just like this ball. No! Fever! No! Uh -oh. <laughs> That's cheating! You lose! Gog win! You way behind now, Og. Maybe Og can't see us back here. Then he won't notice where the ball came from. He noticed. Now, back to the show. So you see, Mike, the big contest wasn't going at all as Og had planned. He was way behind. And forget Og, Phil. I want to see the balloon. Oh, yeah. This is a great spot. Perhaps you should back up and allow us to enter first, Phil? Sorry. No can do. I, I seem to be wedged in tighter than an impacted tooth. Come on, Dr. C. Let's go home and watch the parade on TV. Goodness, Mike, if scientists gave up on problems as easily as you, there wouldn't be any television. Aha! Now we've got a perfect view. The image is upside down, Dr. C. Using two mirrors might fix that. You mean a second mirror will turn the upside down image right side up? We'll never know unless we try it. Didn't I tell you mirrors are fascinating devices? Practical, too, as our friends Crow and Og were about to discover. Hold it still, Paka. I can't see. But my trunk is getting tired. If you hadn't made Og so mad with those dumb accidents you caused, we could just watch with everyone else. Look who's talking dumb. You can't even hold the sea myself for right. It's upside down. It is? Wait a minute. The sea myself isn't upside down. The image is upside down. <gasps> there must be a better way to do this. I certainly hope so. Next event in the big contest take place here at Big Scary Cave of Big Scary Cave Bear. <gasps> this event worth many points. Og need points. He way behind. Contestants must clip toenail from Big Scary Cave Bear. <gasps> and survive. <gasps> but first, lunch! <laughs> This event should separate the Ogs from the boys. This one takes brains, not brawn, Mojo. And my creature of choice has the cranial lobe of superior proportions here. That explains why you support him. You're both fatheads. This thing should work perfectly. Using two see myselfers was pure genius. <laughs> Which I am. So how's this thing gonna work, Packer? The top see myselfer is the one I was holding, Crow. But when you held it over my head, Og looked upside down. It's the bottom see myselfer that makes this thing work. It reflects the reflection from the top one, and then Og looks right side up. Of course. And the sticks hold the two see myselfer steady and in the right position. If it works right, we should be able to see up, over, and around this rock. Yikes! How rude of you to spy on us. You give us that up and over, see you right now, you little delinquents. Hey, Packer, not only does this up and over seer thing work, it's easy to carry when you're running for your life! <sighs> Let's not use these see myselfers anymore, Crow. They're nothing but trouble. I'm with you, Packer. Og must get Tornel. Have to. Hey, that sounds like Og. <gasps> On the other side of this rock. No, Crow. We said we weren't going to use it anymore. This is the last time, Packer. Honest. I promise. Well, okay, let me see. Og just can't let Gog win. Gog, good guy, but not brave like Og. Not strong like Og. Not smart like Og. Ouchie! Two out of three ain't bad. How come Gog keep winning in big contest? 
That's not fair. No worry, Og. I'm not even enter toenail clipping event. Gog really not want to be leader? Gog really not want to die. Gog think Og not want to die too. Og should give up now. If Og give up now, then Gog win. He be leader. That right. Og way behind them points. No. Og gotta do what Og gotta do. And I'm gonna help you do it, Og. Crow no help, Og. Crow big jinx. See myself a big jinx, too. Look, I know it's my fault that you lost those first two events, Og, and I'm sorry, but please, now let it be my fault that you win one. Og uh, gonna lose anyway, so... What the heck? Hey, deal. It's dark in there. Gee, thanks. Duck again. Whoa, Og. Don't worry. I know a better way to get light into the cave. Oh, goody. Hold this. I'll be right back. <laughs> Oopsie. Crow's dinghy broke. Which way it go? Oh well, I'm gonna fix. Okay, Og. The light should be bouncing off my see myselfer into the cave, off the next see myselfer around the corner to you. It work. Og impressed. Sounds like the big scary cave bear is sleeping, Og. Now's the time to cut a toenail. How we know bear really asleep, not just faking? Well, hey, I know. Let's use my up and overseer. I'll get toenail from bear easy. <laughs> Oh, that cave bear be big and scary. He's short and whippy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> what happened? Somehow the bottom see myself or got turned around. So the curvy side is up instead of the flat side. Uh, oh, no, nothing about that. It's simple, Og. A curvy see myself or can make things look bigger or smaller than they really are. No kidding. Ah! Oh, Og can't move. Og scared of dark. But I'm more scared of bear. Run! What happened to light? Oh, I see. The sun moved. It's still throwing down light, but it's missing our see myself -er. I'll have to make some adjustments. Og no like see myself -ers. They make light go away. They make bear look short and wimpy. <gasps> and they make too many Ogs. Of course. That's how we defeat the bear, Og. Come on, we've got work to do. Og not understand. But Og sure hope it work. Remember, try not to wake him, but if you do, just lead him to our trap, okay? Og gonna die. <laughs> You did it, Og. You got the toenail and you didn't...
didn't even die. Ark? Having brought Toenail a big, scary cave bear back and not dying, I declare Ugg one and only leader of tribe. This big, scary Toenail crown, proof of Ugg's bravery. A nice fashion statement, too. Congratulations, Ugg. Ugg really hates see my sulfur, but Crow used it in many smart ways. Ugg, thank Crow. <laughs> Ugg look good in this. I'm beginning to like see myself. <laughs> yeah! Well, Earl, time to pay up and do the loser's juggle. <laughs> How humiliating. <laughs> After these messages, we'll be right back. Back to the show. These homemade periscopes were great, Dr. C. Thanks for the inspiration, big guy. Oh, no problem, Mikey. <laughs> now, if I could just solve the problem of this awful crowd, I... Go oh, hey, careful, careful, watch it. Oh, what? Oh, dear. Hey, look at the mammoth wall. Hey, it all. Cool. Oh, well, as I said before... Oh, wow. Uh, Parade. The tramping of feet, I love every beat I hear. Tonight, don't miss Christmas at home with the stars. Then, see skating's most famous pair in a very special hour of elegance on ice. Watch the artistry of Torval and Dean. Now, stay tuned for ABC's Wide World of Sports for Kids. Coming up next... This is ABC.